Well, I found these connectors. These are PL259s. I found them on eBay. They're really uh, cheap. I think I paid 20 bucks for 10 of them. And uh, as you can see here, this is how they look. And I thought, you know, this looks like something I could probably do. So uh, I did one. And it turned out pretty good for the first try. I thought, okay, I'll do the other end then. So here's here's some RG213 coax. And uh, I decided that these are the tools that we need. These soldering iron, of course, when we're about finished. Uh, some heavy wire cutters to cut the end off. Some little snippers to trim the braid and some... Uh, regular old wire pliers and uh, a couple of 5 8 open end wrenches and uh, a razor knife. This is really important that you get a, a razor knife. The, I use this thing constantly. I picked it up somewhere. It didn't cost hardly anything. It fits in your pocket. Uh, the blades come out like this. You can turn it around, get a sharp edge, put it back in. The blades are cheap, and uh, I use it for everything except shaving. Um, so, and some solder, of course. All right. So, you take these things apart, like so. This thing will be the first thing to go on the coax. That's your, we'll call it the nut. We'll slide it on the coax. If you forget that, you're going to really be upset. Um, the guts comes out. There's a washer, a rubber thing, and another washer. That's and this one is thin and bigger, and this one is thicker and smaller. And your uh, I guess you'd call this a ferrule, and then your uh, your center conductor thing. All right, so what we'll do is strip the end of this first. And uh, I've got a tape measure and somebody recommended an inch and a quarter. It, as long as it's at least that long, it doesn't matter. You could make it 10 feet if you want to. But yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do uh, about an inch and a half or something like that. That puts us about right right in there. And so uh, I just kind of press in like this and go around it and then take my razor knife and make a little slit like so. And uh, away we go. That was easy. And then um, what we'll do is put the big washer on here. We could have done this before, but it doesn't matter. Just slide it on there. And then we put the rubber seal thing on there. And man, I tell you what, when this thing gets compressed in there, I don't really see how there's any water ever going to get into this thing. So there we go. Now, the next thing would be to uh, put this um little job on here and that goes on there like that and see that stops right there stops at your insulation um then the next thing you can do well i think the next thing you want to do is kind of uh give it a haircut that's what i call it all right so we'll just take our snippers here and chop off a bunch of this stuff and get rid of it. Get rid of this braid. We're going to end up cutting this down to the bone. You'll see why in a minute. This is, this is the way it gets. Get rid of the stuff. And uh, we'll do some more chopping on it later maybe. But uh, get it to where it's out of the way and you don't want any shorts or anything, although I don't hardly see how that could happen. Yeah, see, let's slide that over, slide it over here a little bit, 
and then we take our ferrule and we shove it down in there like so look at that isn't that neat now that grabs that braid and once we tighten those nuts up that's going to clamp down on it with a mighty force and then we'll kind of get the shears out here and give her a little haircut make it look nice and neat all right now for the fun part just cutting the stupid center uh, insulation this is nylon otherwise known as kryptonite uh, some of the stuff you get is foam but uh, actually what you're doing is cutting it right up right up there uh, against the washer and, uh, and there you go now um, this is why a sharp razor blade is nice to have uh, they probably make special tools for this but I'm too cheap to buy them I don't do this for a living after all. All right. Let's see here. Now, now the next trick is to take your pliers and crush this stuff. Go all the way around it. Squeeze it in every direction. Otherwise, when you try to pull it off, you're going to get real frustrated. And uh, this will minimize your anguish. So hopefully that did the job and uh, I think we're making progress. I'll do a little more cutting. I can see I can see it getting better. There we go. it and we are ready to put this on like so and then we slide the body of the thing on like so and we shove the the rest of the guts in there don't worry the nut will pull things together you can see things are coming together and do it as far as you can by hand and we get our wrenches five eighths I think somebody said these are really supposed to be 16 millimeter but I didn't have one of those and this fits I guess fits 16 millimeters and five eighths must be very close to the same because it fits good and snug all right and uh, so we're just about there and if you try to use pliers for one thing it'll scratch it all up and you look awful and the other thing is you probably won't get it tight enough because you can't have any slippage so we get I'm going to take it all the way down to where there's no air gap ah, it helps to let out a karate yell sometimes all right there you go now we take our solder 
And we take our trusty soldering gun and uh, I'm use high heat. You don't have to worry much about melting. Foam melts easier, but see this way you're not putting all that heat on your braid. And that's what caused more trouble than anything. So we'll get that joint good and hot. And uh, we will just flow some solder on there. Alright. I got I think I'll just put a little more on there. I'm having too much fun. Look at it going. Oh yes. Alright. Now this is where our heavy duty cutters come in. And once that solder cools off a little bit. We'll just take these and uh, cut the excess off, and uh, and so there you go. All right. That's all there is to it. And uh, I guarantee you, this is stronger and sealed up better than anything I've ever seen. And so I've made a jumper about. Uh, almost two feet long that I'm going to be using here in the shack and that didn't take any time at all so there you go uh, again you can look on eBay for these things and uh, it's a compression type PL259 or clamp-on I've seen them called clamp-on uh, connectors and uh, the seller um, had them to me in just a, a week or so and they were like twenty dollars for a pack of ten and I'll show you I'm going to show you how they came they came like this and um, if you look on YouTube you'll see a, a couple of different videos um, and one of them one of the videos left out a washer I don't know if his uh, didn't come with the uh, the second washer or what, and uh, so I, you know, thought, well, I'll just go ahead and make my own, and so there you go. Thanks for watching.